Welcome to the New Start Kitchen. My name is Charlene Coutet. Today we're going to make a dessert item called One Smart Cookie. And the reason why it's called a smart cookie is because we're going to be using walnuts. Now if you look at the shape of this walnut, it kind of looks like a shape of a hemisphere of the brain. And walnuts are known to be very good for your brain, so this is why this cookie has kind of got its name. So let's look at the ingredients. We have a cup of walnuts. You can use other nuts as well, like pecans, but for this recipe, we're gonna use walnuts. We, go, we have a cup of unsweetened shredded coconut, a cup of rolled oats, we have half a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking powder, and a half cup of maple syrup. So we're going to go ahead and add our dry ingredients to our food processor first. So in goes the oats, in goes our walnuts. We're going to save this bowl for decoration at the end. You'll see when we, we do that. In goes the coconut. Baking powder and salt. Let's make sure all of that's in. Put the lid on. Now we're going to process this till it gets to a coarse kind of meal texture. Almost there. All right, and that's what it will look like. And then we'll add our wet ingredients, the syrup. There we go. And we'll switch this back on until it all comes together to form a, a dough. There we go. When it starts to clump together like that, you know we're about ready. So, Take this off, move these over. And then we can scrape it all together into a kind of one area. And this is how the dough is. Can you see how that consistency? So then you can take a cookie scoop or a spoon or whatever um, works for you. And we're just going to put them on a lined baking sheet like this. This is a really quick cookie just to whip up. And it's nice to know that your cookies don't have any crazy ingredients, doesn't have too much sugar in it. If you find that even these are too sweet, then, you know, go ahead and adjust your, your sweetener and put less in. Almost there with this mixture. If you have kids, this is a great recipe for them to, you know, practice measuring out with and scooping out. It's always a fun thing to bake with them. My kids like breaking this recipe and eating it, of course. I think we can get one more out of here. There we go. We'll squeeze it into there. Then using a fork, you can just pat them down a little bit, like so. And then we're going to use our 
whole walnuts or if you're using pecans or some other nut. I mean, you can just leave it like this, but I think it looks nice when you take one and just sit it on the top there like this. Then you're going to put these in the oven. You can always preheat your oven whilst you're preparing your ingredients. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees. And then you're going to bake these for 12 to 15 minutes until they get a golden color. Almost done with this. Let's join this one over here. There we go. So there you go. We're going to go ahead and put these in the oven for 12 to 15 minutes, and then we'll be right back. So once your cookie is finished baking, it should look something like this golden and delicious. Check out some of our other videos if you want to serve it with ice cream. You can also put fresh fruit with it, anything you like, but I hope you enjoy it.